Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Excuse my hoarse voice. I believe I have laryngitis. <laughs> I mean, I haven't gotten like properly diagnosed, but whatever. I think that's what it is. I feel fine. It's just my voice, so ignore that. But today I'm going to show you guys how I interlock my locks. Now, I have 57 locks. Um, most people with this amount of locks or this smaller amount of locks usually don't interlock from what I've seen, but I do. <laughs> so um, that's what I'm gonna show you guys how I do today. Um, so as you guys can see, I pretty much finished my whole head, obviously off camera because it would have just taken way too long and it would have been pointless to show you guys everything. So the rest is interlocked. I'll show you guys what I've gotten done. So with the exception of this section here, which is what I'm going to show you guys, this is all that I've gotten done. So that's what it looks like. I don't personally, I don't go in like with a rat tail comb and like, you know, clean up every single part or whatever. Like, I just feel like that kind of defeats the purpose of locks. I mean, for me anyway, I don't, I didn't get locks to have like super clean or to keep super clean parts. Now, when I first initially installed them, cause I will. So when I first started them, obviously I, clean the parts up really, you know, as clean as I could do it. Um, but I, like, my intent wasn't to have clean parts for, like, the rest of my, you know, lock journey. Like, that wasn't, that was never my goal. So, anyway, <clears throat> these are the four locks I have left. As you guys can see, um, my rows are visible enough. Again, the parts are not, like, super clean. Let me try to zoom in so you guys can see little bit better but again I don't go in with any kind of rat tail comb or anything like that I kind of just feel them out with my fingers and I just kind of literally do this like as I'm separating them I don't even use a mirror or anything like that as I'm doing it I just do that so yeah that's all I do I just separate it with my fingers and kind of like feel the part out because again I started my own locks so I know the parting that I did now with this front row though I may clean it up just a little bit not really but like kind of it's hard for me to see it on the camera but like literally like the very edge close to my hairline that's it like i don't i'm telling y'all like i don't go crazy with the parts because i mean they're locks and they're thicker locks which is why i wanted um thick locks to begin with because i didn't like i know me and i know you know my goal wasn't to, as I said, keep perfectly parted locks. Like, that was never my goal. Um, oh, see, I started doing it and not even explained it to y'all. But basically what I did was, um, you know, I took the section, the loose hairs that were around it, I just wrapped it, as y'all saw. I just wrapped it around. Um, I keep a spray bottle here with oils. Uh, this is, like, African herbal oil. Cheap. You can get it from... I get mine from Target because, you know, it's cheaper there. And um, some rosemary, peppermint oil, and yeah, that's it. And I just shake it up and I literally just spray it. Well, really, I'd spray it on the whole row. So since this is the last row that I have, I'm just going to spray it on that. Put those others to the side. And... You don't need it drenched, obviously, you just need for it to be like damp. So you're gonna take your latch hook and or crochet hook, whatever you wanna call it. And what I do is, hold on, let me try to zoom in, zoom this in again. 
So what I try to do is I just feel like where the, the Y was um, last time. And so now that I feel that it was right here and I just pinch it and go right through it. Sometimes it gets stuck. And let's just do it again. Put it on, pull it through, there we go. And that's one. By the way, I only do a two point rotation. Um, yeah, just it's just easier for me. Um, whatever hand, like whether you're lefty or righty, I just keep going up, like, this way, that way, this way, that way, this way, that way, you know? And that's pretty much it. And so since the Y is now, I can feel it that way, and I just go straight through the Y. Go through again. That's the only thing about with the latch hook. Sometimes you, lose, you do lose it. But honestly, I still feel the most comfortable um, using the latch hooks. So I continue to use it, and but again, sometimes you will lose it. Okay, so then I got it now, and that's pretty much it. Um, this one, I could actually go one more rotation. So now the Y is this way. So I go through it, see? See the Y that I'm talking about? That's what you wanna go directly through. It's the same thing with any you know, whether you're interlocking micro locks, sister locks, whatever, it's the same. So this one's a little tight because struggled a little bit, but we still got it. And then it's through. And that's like, that's definitely tight enough. It's not like extremely tight, but it's, you know, since the lock is thick, again, as I said, I only have 57 of them. And since the lock is the thickness that it is, uh, I can't do any other rotations. So you see, with interlocking it, I kind of lost the part just a little bit. I could I just do like that. Again, I'm not looking for perfect parts. I just want the, you know, the front row to be a little more clean, but nothing crazy. And that's pretty much it. So then I'll just repeat that for these last three locks. Here I'll do one more on camera. So if I'll do this one, since this one is my middle part. Again, even though it's a middle part, first of all, I rarely, if ever, wear a middle part. Sometimes I do, but not really. And um, again, not looking for perfection, just like a little bit of you know, clean it up. I'm sorry if I'm out of the frame just a little because, you know, I'm still trying to see it. Um, so yeah, that's good enough. Again, we're not looking for perfection. Personally, I'm not looking for perfection. Um, so yeah, okay, so now you see all this, these little those frizzy edge hairs that I got going on here. <clears throat> I just wrap them in, just wrap them in, and that's it. And pretty much like that would be a retwist if you wanted to just like clip it back. But since um, you know I don't inter I don't retwist, I interlock. I do that, but then again, feeling for the Y, and then putting it through. That's that. And you see now the Y is there. I feel it. Make sure, see if I can put it in um, one more time. I can put it again through, like directly through the Y. Like crossing over the Y, I should say. Not like in the middle of the Y. Never in the middle of the Y. Let me clarify that. So that's how you create gaps in your locks. And then that's it. It's literally it. Sometimes, again, while pulling it through, since my locks aren't thick and my hair density is like, 
kind of thick too. I'll pull locks from the other one. But yeah, that's pretty much it. And now, you know, since I'll have a few more hairs sticking out, I'll literally just wrap those. Don't, listen, if one thing y'all get from this, don't ever clip those hairs. Like, never cut those off. I've seen locticians where they're cutting them off and they're doing this and that. Like, don't do that because those locks are essential to, to the lock. You know what I mean? Like, those locks or those hairs are essential to the integrity of the lock. So do not cut them off. Wrap them around you know crochet them in don't cut them off whatever you do do not cut them off um and sometimes i'll just go all the way down like that but don't cut them off and so as i've wrapped it around you'll see that the lock is and as y'all see this is another thing too i just want to show y'all that the interlocking pattern goes away like you don't really see that it's interlocked i mean you might see a little bit there but like shit and that's close to the root you know what i mean like as it grows out and it gets further down you're not going to see that at all um and again that's you barely see it now so um that's all i'm trying to say is that as it grows out you're really not going to see anything if you're not seeing it now you're really not going to see it later you know and so basically what i'm doing is just the extra hairs that i said not to cut <laughs> you know don't cut them just crochet them in a little bit. I just, again, still use my double prong because that's the most effective one or efficient one for me. And that's it. Like, that's literally it. Um, that's all I do. So, let me zoom this out a little bit. Okay, so that's all I do. Like, literally, that's it. So I'm gonna do these last two, come back and show you guys how I lay my edges after interlocking. So I'll be right back. 